All right, we are joined. Brandy, this is, uh, this is very exciting, as always. Anytime I get an opportunity to talk about beer, I'm, I'm having a great morning. But uh, the, I've, I've been telling so many people about this. Uh, well, it's a brew pub. I hesitate to call it a brew pub because I think people have an impression of a brew pub that's a very small setting. This is a real full-on restaurant. I'm talking about Bull and Barrel and Brewster. Guys, welcome to the show. Thanks so much for coming in. Hey, thank you. Good morning. Now, you have what I describe to people, and I mean this is the best compliment, as what John Taffer dreams about when he goes to sleep at night. John Taffer of Bar Rescue, he always tells people, find what works in terms of theme, be consistent about it, and don't kind of be corny or cheesy about it. And you guys just nail it. It is a very rustic, wooden, uh, you've got a, a mechanical bull in the establishment, and it's incredible. And by the way, I've been, the other thing, and, and not to make this the focal point of the restaurant, because the food that I've had there has been incredible, and the variety of beer has been amazing, and you guys are just starting to bottle it, so I want to get to that. Your urinals at that place. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm telling you, Brandy, you are missing out by not the having women, access. The women are missing out on something, definitely. The women are missing out. They are, like, A little bit. they're kegs cut in half. Okay. And you pee into the keg. It's really like a return to nature thing, I think, is what it is. It's just you're giving back into the keg what you got Do out of the keg. Do guys stay in the bathroom longer I, because of this? I, I, I swear that when you pee into the keg, it does not go back into the tanks. The <laughs> <laughs> They're Thanks completely for clarifying. separate kegs. I would hope so. Otherwise, yeah. Look, once once Rogue Brewing Company started making beer out of the yeast in a guy's beard, you start Ooh, having yeah. to qualify. No, we're not using that ingredient in our beer. Uh, but what you have right now is something I think people are probably going nuts for, right? This pumpkin, this rum pumpkin. Tell us about that beer. Sure. So, I mean, I think, you know, when we brewed last year our country bumpkin pumpkin, this year we had to step it up a notch. And, you know, part of what we are is, you know, one part brewer, one part uh, rebel rouser, and one part forager. So, you know, <laughs> the, the rebel rouser part comes from that mechanical bull late night fun. Right, right. But, you know, the brewing part and the forager part of trying to pair up with local ingredients, um, this year we partnered up with Taconic Distillery up in Millbrook and use their rum barrels and some of the oak from that to infuse and age in our spiced pumpkin beer this year, uh, which we've bottled and has been um, a very complex um, beer with, like, so many things going on inside it from the initial, like, cinnamon clove spice to the kind of amber body, but then the essence of the rum mm -hmm. and kind of the backlash of just a, a slight oakiness has been um, just been like a, a wild uh, flavor explosion in your mouth, man. That's awesome. You know, I think that this kind of... What it is, is it, it represents kind of the pumpkin beer for the type of person who doesn't typically order a pumpkin beer. The type of person who might dismiss it and be like, ah, it's going to be sweet. Give me this thing. Give me this. Th yeah, I get a lot of that. I'm sure. I'm sure. it's Because it, it's complex and it adds a level that beyond just kind of like, all right, it's going to be pumpkin-y. What's the big deal? But you add something to it and it makes a huge difference. Uh, and you also have this oak-aged beer that you had. You brought with. I, I had to put it on the ledge outside, otherwise I would just be like knocking it back during this whole interview. So is that that's kind of what you're focusing on, kind of barrel-aged, kind of real rustic, delicious, complex beers? Yeah, I think so. I mean, you know, everybody's aware of that IPA explosion of, of the hop heads and those hoppy beers, um, which are great, and we love them, and we do them, and we do them on nitrogen and stuff. But you know, on the forefront of mixing. Um, or intertwining the craft distilling movement with the craft brewing movement. Um, it's kind of an adventure and a little bit of a, it's a playground for Mark and I to work together and challenge each other and say, hey, you know, what are we going to do next? I yeah. mean, that beer that, that, that you just sampled literally has roots in the Hudson Valley going back 15 years. Um, it's a beer I brewed. It was an Old Ale style. Um, when I met Mark, I said, let's make it an Imperial Old Ale. And then after we brewed the Imperial Old Ale and everyone loved it on tap at the at the brewery, I said, "Nope, we got to do better." And it was let's yeah. age it, let's age it in oak barrels and, and uh, <laughs> yeah. with bourbon. And now we've got this uh, flagship beer that that we basically have on tap year round at the brewery. The term handcrafted is no joke. I mean, we hand bottle these 750 ml bottles that you know consumers now can get not just at the brewery in Brewster, 
but also at your local beverage centers in the Hudson Valley. Nice. That's you know, and that's very cool too. What I was thinking about is a lot of places that you know brew beer. Uh, if they serve food, a lot of times it's well, we have to serve food because people are coming here and we want them to hang out. But what you guys do is you have a real, a full-on restaurant. So you've got a full menu. It's not something that's kind of thrown on there because, and you kind of have a unique opportunity to tailor your menu and your beers to one another and kind of make it all work together. Is that something you kind of try to focus on? Yeah, absolutely. From, 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 a, from a kitchen standpoint, absolutely. I mean, here's another example. We have our own Southern Pride uh, wood smoker. So, you know, after we, the, we, we did it already about three weeks ago, I think. The, yeah, we, um, after smoking 120 pounds of pork shoulder for 13 hours, literally pull the pork out of the, out of the smoker, throw in the smoke. Stick and malt in, <sighs> in the smoker, smoking 50 pounds of marisider for our smoked porter. Oh, my God, that sounds amazing, yeah. Brandy. I'm, I'm in a happy place right now. It's where <laughs> I am. I'm feeling very good. And this is kind of uh, right up your alley, I think, too, Brandy, because you are somebody who uh, you really are in tune with the concept of that kind of craft distilling and that sort of thing mm-hmm. and how it kind of incorporates with beer. Yeah, yeah I, I mean, it's... Is there anything you've got kind of up your sleeve that you're allowed to tell us about as we kind of segue from autumn beers into the winter scene of beers? Sure, sure. Um, We have partnered with, again, another local company called Crown Maple. They're based in Dover Plains, Mm -hmm. and um, they have this phenomenal uh, bourbon maple syrup where they actually age their maple syrup in bourbon barrels. Now, one step better is they work with um, conservatives conservatory uh, conservationists. Yeah. They work with conservationists and they actually tap trees on land that is four miles from our brewery. Wow. Mm -hmm. So again, (laughs) it's, it's, yeah. (laughs) So we're going to take this uh, bourbon aged maple syrup and infuse it into our brown ale that we've already brewed. And that should be out um, early, early November. That's, it doesn't really get much more Hudson Valley handcrafted than that. Uh, you're right there in Brewster, easy to get to uh, if you're familiar with the area at all. Also, you guys are the only uh, brewery in Putnam County. That's yes. pretty cool, yes. right? Yes. Absolutely. First and only. First and only. You're putting your uh, your flag right there in the ground. Uh, where can people get more information, websites, things like that? Yeah, website, Bull and Barrel Brew Pub. Um, but, but if you go to our Facebook page, that is the most up-to-the-minute um, activity that we have going on. Cool. So make sure you check that out. Check out the restaurant. I absolutely love it. Uh, I'm always looking for an excuse to kind of head toward that direction so I can stop off there. Right on 22 in Brewster by 684 and 84. Perfect. Easy to get to. It's right. Yeah, it really is very much like no matter where you're going, if you're in that general vicinity, you are close by. So make sure that you check it out. Check out the Facebook. Check out the uh, the brand new bottled beers that they're going to have in any of your uh, beverage stores. Guys, thanks so much for coming in. Appreciate it. Thank you.